Hi, Gemini. Welcome in and thank you so much for joining. Be sure to only take messages that resonate and how they resonate for your situation. Energies can be reversed. So if you are watching for a Gemini, keep that in mind. If the messages are not for you, check your other signs or check back next time. Thank you all so much for hitting the like button. I do appreciate all of your support. So Gemini, there are timestamps. They're located in the description box as well as the comment section. So if you would like to skip ahead at any time, you can click on those blue timestamps. What are Gemini's guides trying to tell Gemini this week? What are Gemini's guides trying to tell Gemini 1111? So your affirmation is I am awakening. The universe is arranging people and experiences on your path to help you succeed in helping you wake up to who you truly are. Gemini, some of you guys may feel distracted in the next couple of days or you're feeling distracted now. Thing, uh, multiple things uh, getting your attention here, but they're really wanting you to focus on one particular thing, Gemini, one particular goal right now. It can seem very heavy. I feel like the distractions coming in could be forces working against your awakening. There may be some spirits or some, uh, you know, people even like just energetic there's something to do with your energy ruffling feathers, Gemini, with the 1111 card. And I feel like these are just distractions to pull you out of what you're supposed to be doing. So just be very mindful of distractions. Be very mindful of anything that is trying to trigger your emotions. Because it's trying to get you off track. Or they're trying to get you off track. Now, if this is people and not just entities or energies i feel like these people they're being provoked by something else to knock you off track okay there's something about your spirit um gemini there's something about your energy that is triggering okay for other people right now or triggering for forces that want to work against you But everything's happening for a reason. You have coins coming out first, so your money being in a positive cycle. It says money will be coming to you, Gemini. So this is not, this is asking you to not focus so much on, some of you Geminis may be very heavily focused on security, but maybe you're thinking it's not going to come or it's not something that's going to be long term. Your guides are saying it is. Money will be coming to you in some shape or form. Just don't get off the path. If you feel like something is causing you to be off of the path, Gemini, I feel like you need to take a step back. Okay. Oh my God. Money path, Gemini. Some of you guys may be afraid to take a leap of faith here, okay? Or you may be afraid to continue something because you're not quite sure, you know, if you're going to be secure in the future. This is a strong indication that, yes, you're, you know, you're going to be very secure in the future. Keep doing what you're doing. Uh, it also says a path, a path with money is waiting for you to find it. So some of you Geminis have not even discovered this yet, but this is what's to come. You could be seeing 1111 a lot, 888. These are your guides trying to direct you towards a, a fulfilling, abundant life. One that has purpose, okay? I, I feel like it has to do with your purpose. Give me one more card for Gemini. Rooster, an arrogant, boastful person you should not cross. Now, I am feeling that for the collective in general. Okay, um, there may be somebody coming in. Okay, there, there may be someone coming towards you, Gemini. And this person is committed to misunderstanding you. They're committed to disliking you. And they're actually trying to find reasons to not like you. They're trying to find evidence, okay, that you are a problem. 
right? You need to avoid this person at all costs. It says, an arrogant, boastful person you should not cross. So do not cross this person. I feel like there's absolutely no way you can even change this rooster's mind. You just can't. Now, with the coins and money path, it could be somebody at work. If you work in customer service, Gemini, you could just be having these energies coming in. And it's like there's no point in trying to... There's no point in giving back the same energy that you're getting from this person. Because one, it'll make things worse. Uh, you just, you need to just avoid it altogether and remain focused. It's just, this is just one more distraction that's coming towards you to knock you off course. View it as a distraction and walk away from it. What else for Gemini? What else for Gemini? Now, Gemini, I get asked a lot about this deck. Um, her name is Amira. She sent this deck to me. I will put her website in the description box if you guys are interested in purchasing her deck. She sent me a couple of them. I just have not really used all of them yet. Let's see. Messages for Gemini. Messages for Gemini. Control. You need to take your power back in a situation, Gemini. And how you do that, you know, I feel like for a lot of you guys, it's to not be anyone's puppet on a string. There may be people that are intentionally trying to get you to react. There might be someone that feels very powerful when they get you to react. And that how you take your power back is by releasing the situation. And I feel like I feel a strong need to tell you to avoid situations like that. Now, some of you guys are just releasing this or you need to. What else for Gemini? Okay, we have children, childlike. So some of you guys, this is just a person that is extremely childish. Okay, they play a lot of games. Uh, they like to come across as innocent. So I feel like for a lot of you, uh, they could present themselves as innocent. Other people may see them as innocent or something along those lines. But it's very important for you not to engage at all because I feel like there's multiple people. L look, look at these kids. There's multiple people just waiting for, you know, some type of drama to unfold here. Okay. Now, of course, um, for some of you Geminis, you may feel very restricted and limited because you have children. You may feel like um, there's not a whole lot you can do um, because of your children. Okay. We have career that's wanting to come out. I'm going to clarify that. So this is success in business, some type of advancement here. You have a card that flew. Okay, we have gifts. There's going to be like some type of surprise when it comes to your career. I'm getting like a surprise advancement in career. Now, you could, of course, be receiving some type of gifts, donations, or credits. I'm getting some type of credit for something here. There's definitely a position about to open, or there's a position opening at your job that you should stay ahead of. Okay, tell me more about the uh, Gemini's with children. The Gemini's with children. Because some of you Gemini's may feel like you are controlled by a child or you are controlled by your children somehow. Okay, like you feel very limited and restricted. The fool. Like you can't just go do what you want. Like you can't take risks. Okay, like you're really considering your children here that, you know, you're, you can't just take a leap of faith and a risk here because you have children. And what happens to you happens to them. We have the Ace of Pentacles. I do see a new beginning, though, for you and your children or you and your child. It looks like a new opportunity coming in for you guys. Anything else? Could 
have to do with uh, assistance, some type of uh, government assistance for some of you guys, or if it's not government assistance, the Hierophant can be an organization. But they, I'm getting like a yes. There's some type of yes coming towards you, a check of some kind. Okay, take that if it resonates. Uh, we have Taurus, Aries. For me as a reader, the Fool can be Aquarius. Gemini as well could be another Gemini. All right, let's take a look at this single. You single Geminis. Where are the single Geminis at? What are they up to? What's going on in your energy, single Gemini? What is going on in your energy, my single Gemini? Five of Swords. Okay, you're you know you're surrounded by game players. Five of Swords. People wanting the upper hand. Uh, people really wanting your attention, though. Queen of Swords. You you're setting boundaries with these types of people. Could be a Libra, Gemini, Aquarius involved for some of you. But it's telling me you're setting uh, boundaries with the people who want to play mind games. Uh, they're not up front. Is what I'm getting. I see you being very direct, okay? Or you're about to step into this energy of being very direct, like come at me correctly or don't come at all. It's like you as the Queen of Swords can see bullshit from a mile away. And you're like, halt. I know in the picture she's doing this, but to me with that sword up, you're like, stop right where you're at. I'm not engaging in this bullshit. But it's coming for you, Gemini. I feel like there could be at least three people for some of you. Okay, but it looks like attention coming your way, but it's attention from these manipulators, okay? Give me one more card for that. Justice card. It could be a Libra for some of you. I'm also getting Gemini, somebody that has been causing conflict, somebody that has been creating chaos in your life or creating conflict in your love life or in your life in general. This person is going to uh, get, you know, some consequences for their actions. The justice card, that sweet justice for a situation. Uh, somebody that has been playing mind games with you, sweet justice in that situation. I also feel, Gemini, a lot of you are really just only interested in honest connections, honest people, up front, no nonsense. That's what I'm getting. And I feel like you're going to take that sword and cut them right out the second that they show you otherwise. Or you're just really in this energy of like, stop, just stop, okay? Um, and guys, you know, you can sniff out bullshit right now. So trust your intuition. That Queen of Swords Justice, Five of Swords. Your intuition's on point and your sight is on point. So what's happening is what's happening. Don't second guess it. I'm not trying to like, of course there can be misunderstandings, but Gemini, I'm going to tell you right now, single Geminis, you're seeing something correctly for sure. Who is coming towards single Gemini? Who's coming towards single Gemini? Could be a Pisces, uh, the high priestess. Let's see, why are they the high priestess? This person could be, they of course could be spiritual. Okay, let's see, why the high priestess? The magician. Wow. That's bizarre. Somebody could definitely be into law of attraction, uh, manifestation, or you have manifested this person to come towards you, Gemini. I'm getting, uh, you know, something about the occult or something about, uh, you know, this person's definitely spiritual. They have a, they have a very spiritual side. 
they're into esoteric things with the high priestess, the magician, law of attraction. But for a lot of you Geminis, you are manifesting this person. So you could have definitely been really making it clear with the universe what it is you want. And it's coming right for you. Some of you guys, I will say a routine change might be necessary in order to receive this manifestation. That was a download. Take it if it resonates. So what do they like about Gemini? What does this person like about Gemini? The page of swords. They just like looking at you. They're very curious about you. They like your communication, the way you look in general. I'm also getting like your mind. Uh, I feel like your mind is going to be very fascinating to this person. The conversation, your conversation skills, really. They just like how much you talk and the way you talk. King of swords. Wow. Someone just feels like you're very intelligent or, you know, they're really into what you're into and you two are going to bond over this. How will this go with the current energy? How will this go? How will this go with the current energy? Wow. The Knight of Cups, you both liking each other. I see someone pursuing you is really what I'm getting. I see a proposal of some kind in the future. Somebody's definitely asking you out here, okay? And, you know, this person is really admiring you. Could be a secret admirer in the moment right now as we speak. However, they're coming out from hiding, definitely. They're coming towards you to communicate with you. And they, the Empress, this person loves everything about you, Gemini, the way you look, the way you talk. This person is definitely, this is going to be uh, someone who pursues you. They feel a strong romantic connection with you, Gemini. And I definitely see a proposal of some kind. Libra, Taurus, Virgo, could be an Aries. The magician to me is Aries, could be Gemini, uh, Aquarius, Pisces. I have strong Libra here as well. I just saw the judgment card. I happened to look at the bottom of the deck. Uh, you will be uh, making, you will be needing to make a decision in the future because they're going to ask you something with the Knight of Cups, ask you out, ask you for your number. I'm also getting for a lot of you too, like I definitely see this relationship developing into something very strong, okay? Very strong in the future. Communication, tech, a lot of texting, a lot of phone calls, okay? Is there anything else that Gemini needs to know, please? Is there anything else uh, for the single Geminis that I can tell the single Geminis? Okay, gift wanted to come out. There's definitely someone gifting you something, a cup of coffee or some type of present. I feel like this person is trying to win you over, Gemini. Is there anything else for the single Geminis? Fun times ahead for you, Gemini. So I really see this person, you and this person having a lot of fun, going out together, doing things you both like to do, you both enjoy doing. Bottom of the deck, we have Dating Queen. My single Geminis, you've got some suitors coming in, but there's going to be one in particular that stands out amongst the rest. We have Libra Energy, Taurus, Aquarius, Gemini. Could be an Aries or a Pisces. Could be a fixed sign for some of you. All right, what am I doing? We're going to do um, past person, current issues. So this reading is going to be for the Geminis that are uh, currently having issues with someone or interested in somebody that you have a history with. And we're going to see what's going on there. Okay, so what happened in the past? Gemini and this person, what has happened here? I'm going to get a sip of water real quick, Gemini. Okay, what happened between Gemini and this person? What happened between Gemini and this person? Five, uh, you got let down. Somebody really let you down, Gemini. Somebody 
you Geminis can still be stuck on the woulda, coulda, shouldas, um, or that's vice versa if you're not. But I'm definitely getting like just kind of reflecting over what has happened, what has lost. Um, but just overall disappointed. Somebody really lets you down. Death card, Scorpio energy, just disappointed over the ending or... We have also have Leo energy. Very interesting, Gemini. I feel like somebody here gave you a lot of happiness, okay? This person really, you were really happy to see them. It was really fun being around this person, uh, you know, with the sun being here. But then they really let you down. And the death card tells me something here has ended or just drastically changed, right? There could be a drastic change that has happened between you and this person. How does Gemini see this person? How do you see them right now, Gemini? The Six of Wands. You can see them as somebody who gets a lot of attention, okay? Or, you know, somebody that is very uh, prideful. Somebody that is Let's see. Why, why, why does Gemini see them as the Six of Wands? They really had your attention, Gemini. They could still have your attention. Knight of Swords. Aquarius energy. Air, fire, okay. Leo, Scorpio, Cancer, Pisces. Gemini, you feel like this person does things without thinking. The Knight of Swords. And I feel like some of you guys may be looking for an explanation on something with the Knight of Swords, the, the Six of Wands. You could be wanting an explanation or, you know, like wanting someone to explain themselves here or you're just looking for an explanation. Six of Wands for how you see them. That you, you may think that this person really loves to get attention or that they do get attention. They could work in the public eye for some of you, customer service, anything along those lines. Or you just feel like, you know, they're very chatty with other people. How does Gemini feel right now about this? Not optimistic. You could feel like somebody manipulated you in the past. Some of you guys feel like something here is unforgivable or that you can't come back from it. Virgo energy could be Aquarius, could be another Gemini for some of you or an Aries. A strong Virgo though. Uh, they see you as the Knight of Wands in reverse. They see you as not changing your mind or staying away from them. Why do they see Gemini as the Knight of Swords in reverse? Four of Swords, yeah, that your your mind's made up here about them. So someone thinks it would be, there's no use anyway in coming back towards you because they think that it would be a waste of time because your mind's already made up. We have the Ten of Pentacles in reverse here. So they just feel like this was something short term. How do they truly feel about Gemini right now? That you stopped giving to the situation. Uh, they just kind of feel page of cups, six of, they're unsure on whether or not they should give to the situation because they do feel like it was short term. Maybe this was just something that was supposed to be short lived is how they're feeling, but there are still emotions they have towards you. The page of cups is a very, um, they can feel like you two got off on the wrong foot with the Six of Pentacles in reverse. And I'm also getting like this person really feels like this connection re really never had a chance in the first place. Or you two really never, uh, you know, got past the beginning stages of something or really got to know each other. Like someone really feels like you two never fully got to know one another. Like you missed that chance. What do they want from Gemini right now? Ace of Wands. They want some type of action from you, Gemini. Yeah, they want you to reach out. They want you to say something. What are their next actions? This is somebody that wants you to take action, Gemini. They want you to come forward. They want you to initiate something with the Ace of Wands. 
What um what is this person's next actions towards Gemini? The full, the tower, the page of pentacles. I do see some type of message. I see an unexpected message, something out of the blue happening here, coming from this person. Let's see, what's their hidden truth? Oh, we got more Scorpio energy. The Fool can be Aries, Aquarius, could be Gemini. What's their hidden truth? I also have Sagittarius here. What's their hidden truth towards Gemini? They think you don't feel the same about them as you once did. What else? They're starting to see life differently now. So I do feel like they're starting to see a situation differently or they will see a situation differently in the future. Give me one more. They are comparing you to other people. Bottom of the deck, we have I admire you. I feel like somebody watches you, Gemini, or they're just, they do admire you. Okay. Let's do, um, let's do cross watchers. You can click to the timestamp for those of you that want to go ahead and skip ahead to it. Okay. Aries through Pisces, please. Aries through Pisces. If you are dealing with this sign, Aries through Pisces. Aries through Pisces. Aries through Pisces. If you are dealing with an Aries, the Aries wants to communicate. I'm getting the Aries wants more clarity, but they want to break through in communication. If you are dealing with a Taurus, the Taurus has, the Taurus feels really connected to you. I'm getting in love with you. The lover's card. If you're dealing with a Gemini, oh, the five of wands. I feel like if you're dealing with another Gemini, this Gemini is really focused on drama. Okay. Why the five of wands page of cups? I feel like this Gemini is dwelling about some type of drama you two are involved in. Okay. With the page of cups being there, I feel like they want to make peace with you with the page of cups. Uh, their hearts telling them to make peace with you, but I just feel like they're, they're dwelling too much on whatever drama took place between you two could have been other people involved in the situation somehow for some of you, but I don't see the Gemini really, I don't see the Gemini reaching out, but I do see the Gemini wanting to their hearts telling them to. If you're dealing with a cancer, the cancer wants to reach out. Six of pentacles, the cancer wants to give to this connection. If you're dealing with a Leo, the Leo spies on you. They want communication. If you're dealing with a Virgo, the Virgo wants to talk. They like you. There's a very strong interest from a Virgo. If you're dealing with a Libra, they're very attracted to you. They want to take action. I'm also getting like they want you to take action. If you're dealing with a Scorpio, the Scorpio is on the defense, okay? They may feel very defensive towards something that you did or said or blamed them for. If you're dealing with a Sagittarius, they have romantic feelings for you. If you're dealing with a Capricorn, the Capricorn waits for you to take action. If you're dealing with an Aquarius, this Aquarius uh, has a lot of choices. Okay, let's see. Justice card. The Aquarius might be going through a divorce, okay? I, I feel like if it's not a divorce, they could be going through a legal situation. I don't think the Aquarius is really focused on the connection they have with you right now. They have too much other stuff going on right now. If you're dealing with a Pisces, the death card, the fool. The Pisces wants to resurrect a situation with you. All right, Gemini, those are your messages. I hope this provided you with some clarity. If the reading was not for you this time, be sure to check your other signs or check back next time. 
Thank y'all so much for hitting the like button. I really appreciate your support and I hope you guys have a fantastic day. Bye.